Hi, Guideposts. I'm Jamie Kern Lima, author of the new book, Believe It, and also co-founder of It Cosmetics. I'm so excited to share everything about Believe It with you. It's truly all about um, a story, my story, of going from not believing in yourself to believing in yourself, and from going to feeling like you're not enough to knowing you are enough. Three of my favorite tips for starting a business or maybe just going after and pursuing a goal. Three key things. Okay, the first one is you've got to know your why, right? Like the why, the reason you're doing what you're doing, the reason you really want to launch this business or keep it going. They actually have to be so deep, so meaningful to you that you're not gonna give up and you're not gonna quit during all the times you get knocked down. Beneath my why was like, oh, all growing up, I've seen magazine after magazine with these like flawless images of beauty that were never really real. For me as a little girl growing up, they made me feel like I wasn't enough. And so I wanted to create a company where the why behind the why was to show real images of all kinds of people, right? No matter what they look like, no matter their age, their size, their skin tone, their skin challenges, I wanted to use those as models and really try to shift culture in the beauty industry for every little girl out there who's about to start doubting herself and every grown woman who still does. Number two, and this one's big, especially if you are an entrepreneur um, or you wanna like launch a blog or, or write a book or launch a podcast, you have to prioritize cash over flash, right? Cash flow over flash flow. And here's what I mean by that. You know, we are in such a digital world now, social media driven world where it's so easy to like think like, oh, I've got to do something for my business that looks really good on Instagram or Facebook, or I've got to make, you know, I need selfie moments or I need this. And that stuff's expensive. <laughs> and in the early years, you have to choose like discipline of cash flow over like the fun stuff that just you know fills your ego and looks really good on social media because people go out of business every single day who have these beautiful you know social media sites but like they're not actually putting their money into what really matters which is stuff that really keeps your business going and adds value to your customers number three and this one is probably my favorite of all of them and this is really sticking to the power of authenticity. When you think of authenticity, right, which is literally being who you are, like fully who you are, the good parts, the bad parts, the quirky parts, the messy parts, embracing who you are and showing up as who you are. And if you're an entrepreneur and you wanna launch a business, there's literally no one else on the planet that can do your idea or even your same product the way you can do it. And when you step into all that you are and you embrace it, fully, that is when magic happens.